Troy, I am so excited. Why? You know why I'm so excited? I have no idea. Because we're about to see your third beastie. Ah, uh, my be oh, the beastie, there you go. Yeah. This, is, this is the Toyota, what, what is this? What are we gonna see? We're gonna see what we call the, the Yaris Club. It's a little club racer inspired by 1960s types race cars. We'll take a look here on the reservation. Yeah, let's go. Hey, hi, I'm Troy from 5Axis, and we're building three cars for SEMA for Toyota Motor Sales. And behind me is, is our Yaris, which we're calling the Yaris Club, which is a, uh, a little sports car, kind of taken after late 60s. Uh, Toyota had a car called the Toyota 7, which was a Can-Am race car. When we first received this car from Toyota, it was a three-door Yaris uh, with a hatchback on the back. So um, they, they wanted us to do a chop top, which basically means cutting the, the top down. So what we did is we pulled this car in here, we immediately braced it, and then we cut the top off of it and uh, basically threw that out. In addition, what we wanted to do is to capture some of the flavors from the, from the late 60s. So we, we painted it a, a white ivory, which is kind of an off-white, but it kind of has a very nostalgic feel to it. Because this is a race car, we wanted to have suspension and, and brakes and, and wheels and tires that kind of also uh, represent that type of car. So if you look at the, the tires are actually pretty cool. They're custom cuts from Yokohama. Um, the wheels are actually our wheels, uh, but 5-axis is coming out with 5AD, which is our own line of wheels. Um, this is our this is our uh, five axis wheel or five AD wheel, and it's a seventeen seven and a half. Again, it's supposed to look like a lightweight kind of uh, a racing type wheel. So if you look at the the really cool part about these tires, these were custom cuts. They actually started out as a race slick, and because we wanted to give it a little bit of a, of a kind of a uh, designer appeal to it, we, we had a, we designed this little tread pattern in here, and you can see there's actually a five here, and there's a little color spot kind of to kind of tie in a little bit of the exterior color into the tire. This, this front bumper is actually from a uh, Toyota Vit, which is the Japanese version of this vehicle. So this is not a bumper, or this is what we call JDM. So this is something that you would not find on a US spec car. Uh, but the cool thing I like about this car, if you look at the front of it, it has a little face. I mean, it's got cute little eyes and kind of a roundish little, kind of, kind of like a little dog, you know? It's, it's really cute. Um, we look at this, this is the windshield. We're talking about this is not a, a piece of factory glass. This is actually another piece that we custom made. Um, it's shortened, so it's just it's more like a little windscreen, kind of for the whole the whole roadster appeal. Um, and this is the graphic I was talking about. If you look at the stripe, and we stand here and we look down the down the center of the car, this stripe actually has a lot of curve to it, kind of like I said, plan view. It's sensitive to the outside curvature of the car. So it's kind of I, I like. I think it's a cool feature. It gives a lot of movement to the car and a, and a feeling of, of you know something different instead of just a standard stripe. This, this right here is probably the most impressive view of the vehicle. I mean, it has a lot of detail in such a small area of space, but this is really the focal point of the, of the car. It's the driver. And this little driver's pod right here is the only part that's really open and it has all the little detail pieces in it. Um, we have the sparkle racing seat with the six-point harness. We have uh, a sparkle wheel. And this is the gauge pod we're talking about. Very minimalistic. I mean, the only gauges in there are the ones that you really need for, for racing. A little switch panel here, kind of, again, it's just real bare bones, uh, minimum, you know, real analog style switches. Uh, a push button start control. This is this is also a really neat feature. Just a, one one uh, mirror. That's all you need. Right in the middle, kind of give you the view of the guys behind you because those are the guys that you don't worry about anyway. You know, again, focusing on the interior compartment. You now that now that I open the door, you can see the floor. It has a real nice what they call a heel a heel plate, or like a skid plate for your feet to go on. Again, holes put in it and stuff. Everything's supposed to look like it's lightweight. Um, no no door panel. Just a simple canvas cover here. This right here is actually an old school Toyota logo, and this in Japanese says Toyota, so it's Toyota here. And this, this is something, again, we wanted to pull back from the old historical days of Toyota from the 60s, and this is kind of the, this is what the uh, emblem they were actually running way back then. These lenses have the treatment that we always, we always do on our, our cars, which is a kind of a smoke uh, matte, matte clear. And it gives the, the, the taillights kind of a unique look that people really notice. Yeah, back here again, this is a rear bumper from the Vitz, which is, uh, again, the Japanese version of this vehicle. Um, back here, there's just there's really nothing back here. If you open this up, it's completely open, lightweight, nothing. So what this is here, this is a TTE or a TRD uh, supercharger that came again out of a, a Vitz. And we got a lot of stuff from Japan because there, there wasn't a lot of stuff available here in the U.S. market for this vehicle. But uh, we retrofitted this supercharger on here, and this is capable of making about 60 horsepower. So this car is probably pushing about 160, 170 horses. Um, inside here, there's a lot of 
this dress up parts. I want to make the engine bay look clean, but not overdone. I'm not, I'm not a big uh, fan of a lot of chrome and a lot of uh, braided hoses. So if you look in here, there's some real nice hose clamps, hose technique, hose, uh, silicone hose, and just stuff to just tidy, tidy it up. We've got an, a, an Optima battery in here. I mean, overall, we are really excited about this car, and we were from the beginning. I mean, it, it was like a fun car to start with, but as soon as we started thinking about what we were going to do and cutting the top off of it and everything, um, but yeah, I mean, I think Toyota is going to be really uh, pleased with it, and I think we'll get a pretty good reaction because, yeah, I mean, again, Yaris is one of those little safe entry-level cars that people don't, you know, spend a lot of time looking at or, or, or making modifications to. Uh, you look at something like this, I mean, it really shows what you can do with a little bit of imagination.